So we just picked up the fucking Bentley and uh, man, it's insane. It's awesome. So uh, on our way home, got a long ass fucking drive. <laughs> about a, what is it? About a four hour drive? Yeah. Fuck. So four hour drive. And like I said earlier, we're missing the trick-or-treaters. It's starting to get dark right now. Jesus Christ. So that really fucking sucks. Because I remember when I was a kid and people weren't home, right? Remember those days? So disappointing. Oh, uh, lights out, you know. Oh, man. I'm just disappointed I don't get to scare the shit out of children this year. <laughs> <laughs> No costume tonight. I guess we did our Halloween, like we said earlier. I know. So, man, I'm... I kind of wanted a second go around. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we were going to go to Ebor... Ebor or Eborg? I, Ebor? Think it's, I think it's Ebor. I think it's Ebor, right? Yeah. We were going to go to Ebor City for Halloween. And that was our plan, to go there for, for tonight, was to go to Ebor City. And... Everyone told us we are out of our fucking minds to go to Ebor City on Halloween. So that made us want to go even more. <laughs> we're like, yeah, a place that everyone thinks we're out of our minds to go to. Sounds like fun to me. So, um, you know, obviously having to come pick the car up kind of fucked that up. Um, so, I mean, I guess if we really wanted to, we could go, but it'd be get there what at midnight, the perfect time. We would get there when everybody's already drunk and fucked and up being and rude. We're people good. are trying to pick fights and everything else. Right? That's probably not the best time. But um, but man, I have not experienced Ebor City yet. <laughs> I haven't experienced it. Me and Mike. Burleson, I haven't even seen it yet. Me and Mike Bur. We. I wish we. I think they closed the road down, right? Yeah, they closed it down. Mm -hmm. Me and Mike Burleson. Um, who you guys know, he's been in my videos, he's one of my top sales reps. Me and him drove through there, and I don't even think it was a weekend, or it was a weekend night, it was like Friday night, but it was early. And it was fucking crowded as fuck, and it, I thought it looked sick, I thought it looked like a cool place. It reminded me of what, you know, I'd imagine New Orleans, I've never been to New Orleans. It imagined, reminded me of what New Orleans would be like, but yeah, it just had all kinds like of, of like old, Cigar shops, you know, old restaurants, different types of, um, you know, all kinds of different bars and, you know, clubs and just all kinds of crazy shit. I heard there's like 60 bars, you know, along, you know, I don't know what it is, like probably eight blocks or 10 blocks. I don't know. But maybe more than 60 bars. I don't know. But it looked like some crazy shit. And it was pretty cool. We were fucking, we're driving in a truck that doesn't say 5% nutrition. You know, but it's it's a raised, you know, raised up truck, you know, nice truck. And like people recognize me from me just sitting in the truck. They're like, Rich Piana! <laughs> As we drive by, I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck? But uh, so we would definitely have gone in, in disguisable costumes, right, babe? Oh yeah. Uh, where, you know, people didn't recognize me. Otherwise, you know, we can't have a good night. Or, you know, whatever. I mean, but shit. It's so hard being you. Make we'll a ride at this light. We'll check it out though, it'll be fun. But if you anyone out there who's fucking been there, let me know your let me know your uh yeah, I got Turn right now. onto West Atlantic Boulevard. Let me know your guys' opinions of Ebor City because uh so far everyone told me to fucking stay away. <laughs> that place is fucking crazy. So I'm just curious to hear other people's opinions. But uh, but Mike said no. He said ah. he said no. It's 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 fun. He said it's there, you know. And so uh, so we'll check it out one of these normal weekends first, right? Yeah. But we'll uh, save Halloween for next year, I guess. <laughs> Unless I happen to drag you to New Orleans for Halloween next year. Yeah.
ate at the fucking smokehouse, which is the shit. <laughs> we never heard of it. Just looked up a place to eat in this, in this area. Where are we? Coral Springs. Coral Springs, Florida. God damn it. So uh, we saw smokehouse barbecue. We're trying to bait sushi barbecue. We haven't had good luck with sushi in Florida. Someone please help us tell us a place to go. We haven't found a good sushi, but I'm telling you guys, this place, the smokehouse, it's like Chipotle style. So you can go and pick what you want. They got every, oh my God, man. It is, it is fucking good. Right, babe? I'm stuffed. <laughs> it is good shit. So uh, fucking thumbs up for smokehouse, man. That shit is good. We just found out there's one in Tampa. There's so we'll two in Tampa. Two in Tampa. Oh mm -hmm. shit. And, um, you know, there's something about looking at the food that you're going to choose that everybody is, if you watch anyone walk up, they're just like, ah, you know, being able to see what you're going to pick is just so different than looking at a menu, you know, and deciding what do I want? You know, when you actually see it, it makes all the difference in the world. So these kind of restaurants are fucking genius. I don't know if Chipotle created it. I think they're the ones that actually made it so popular, but it's genius because it just makes such a difference to be able to see what you're picking. You know, how many times you're sitting at a restaurant and you fucking order something on the menu, it comes and you're like, ah, and you look at your, you know, the person you're with and you look at their food and you're like, fuck, I should have got that, God damn it. <laughs> so, uh, babe, we just talk about food too much. What the fuck, <laughs> man? It's a good thing we work out because I'd be fat as, fat as fuck if I didn't work out because yeah. Definitely. Either food or ice cream. Those are the two things we talk about. Hey, yeah, we talk about food. I was watching a comedian. I can't remember his name. And he says, I'm the guy that's at the table that when people are talking, I'm just thinking about my food. And he goes, you know, when you see the waiter coming in your direction, you're like, oh, 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 is that my food? Oh, oh shit, that's not my food. <laughs> All right, ready to get out of here? Absolutely. Right, let's get out of here. Man, I'm stuffed. So we both got a four meat combo. <laughs> a four meat combo with two sides. So, you know, Chanel ate probably one third, if that, maybe one fourth of her food. And I pretty much ate all of mine and almost the rest of hers completely. So I am fucking stuffed. I got fucking brisket. Uh, pulled chicken, tri-tip, and burnt ends. I've never had burnt ends before. I've never even heard of that shit. Have you heard of that shit before? No, and I love barbecue. <laughs> that shit was fucking, burnt ends are good, by the way. I've never had it, never heard of it. Thought I would try it, and that was that was my favorite thing. And then I got, so I, it was supposed to be some kind of sweet potato, mashed sweet potato, but it, it tasted like pumpkin pie. <laughs> like there was so much sugar, cinnamon, and what else? Nutmeg and, and pecans. Nutmeg and pecans. Like, I'm like, what the? This is like fucking dessert. It's crazy. And then I don't know what my. I got some kind of a. What the fuck was that salad I got? And you got like jambalaya rice. It had like beans and stuff in it, didn't it? It had beans and corn, and she said like it wasn't really rice. It was kind of like a pasta. And, oh, I have no idea. Uh, all, yeah, it had all kinds of shit, but that was, that was actually really good. You had, uh, what did you have? The, the collard greens. <laughs> oh, God. If we could have gotten the look on my face when I ate the collard greens. I never had collard greens. I haven't day. either. I've never, that was your first time. Yes. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, that's going to be the last time. Yeah, no one ate the collard greens. They just sat there. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that place is a thumbs up, though. I'm telling you guys, Smokehouse is pretty good. Yeah. I thought, like I told her when we went in there, I was like, Oh my God, I bet, I guarantee you the person that owns Fresh Kitchen owns this place because it has so much similarities to it, right? Yeah. It's very similar. It's the same, you know, same kind of setup. It looked very similar. And I was like, wow, I bet this, I, I guarantee you, because I know that, I know they, that Fresh Kitchen, they own like four or five different restaurants. So I was like, oh, this has got to be one of them. And it wasn't. So I was told. But um, yeah, it's. It's, it's pretty fucking genius, like I said earlier.
Yeah. Almost at the top, and you're like, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> time for a new motherfucking goatee and I'm running out of options god damn it <laughs> so <laughs> running out of options but I'm gonna uh I think I got an idea I'm gonna do something I haven't done in fucking years it's been a long time something different god damn it Why I don't fucking ever shave this goatee? It's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Cut myself, god damn it. Can I shave once without cutting myself one time? Is that a possibility? That I can get through this shit without one cut? I don't think so. God damn it, new goatee. All right, ready to roll. You ready to roll, baby? Yeah. Yeah, are you ready? You're all done up? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but if I'm, if I'm you look good the just camera, how you me. are. You don't have to do a goddamn thing. <laughs> just how you are, natural beauty. Let's do this. What's up, god damn it? So, we, oh, here it is. No, you go to the right. The right? Jesus, I said go right. Go to the right of the bridge, then make a left. Right here? No, this thing. Yeah, at the exit, right? Okay, yes, and then you're gonna make a left. <laughs> I'll make a right. I just heard left. That's all I heard. <laughs> That's all I heard. Selective hearing. Anyway, I got interrupted. <laughs> What's up, everyone? God damn it. So, we are going to pick up the Maserati, and, uh, Hopefully we can fucking get it. You guys, which way? Left? Yes, right. Left. <laughs> you guys have no idea what, not me, what Chanel went through <laughs> to, to uh, fix this situation. And uh, luckily she, how do I say, you know somebody that helped you? You already you said hookup? who's helping us. Okay, well, I'm trying to protect them now and maybe people <laughs> forgot but probably not <laughs> anyway so her sister helped us out and um she's in cali so we had to re-register the fucking maserati in california even though we're in florida because i can't find the uh pink slip the pink slip so i can't fucking register it so we have to order a pink slip but of course you can't get that overnight it takes how long um anywhere from 14 to 30 days it takes a fucking month to get that shit so i have my maserati and it's fucking registered in california that's fucking great right doesn't matter i don't drive that shit anyway right so we got insurance the fucking registration but now i wasn't really i went and got a florida license and when i got the florida license they fucking cut up my california license so I started thinking, are you fucking kidding me? Don't tell me they're gonna say, oh, you have to have the same state license as what your car's registered. Otherwise, oh my fucking God. Cause I don't have my California ID now. I got Florida. Cause I went, we went to DMV yesterday and I got a fucking Florida ID. Today we got the registration in the mail. We're like, all right. So I think it's been like four days, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much, it's probably gonna be like maybe a thousand bucks at the most. Something like that. Yeah, so it'd be like a thousand bucks. But you know, I don't give a fuck just so hopefully I can get my car. Because if they don't give me my car, then there's there's nothing I can do, right? At that point. 
have have to wait. Fly to, to California and fucking redo a California license? I don't know. Or Jesus wait till you get the pink slip. Christ. What? Or you'd have to wait till you get the pink slip. Yeah, but then I still have a fucking wrong license if it's wrong. It doesn't license. matter. The pink slip, it won't matter. The pink slip shows you own the car. But I don't think that it'll matter with your registration. It, well, it says valid registration. It, sh- it shouldn't have mattered with an expired registration. It's my goddamn car. It has my name <laughs> on it. I know. The fuck? I don't drive it. It wasn't being driven when they towed it. It was sitting in a fucking spot. I mean, you know, so I wasn't driving it. It was dropped off by the delivery truck. And, uh, you know... And I wasn't driving it. So, uh, and we got the new Bentley, but we're not driving the Bentley because, you know, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if you guys realize this, but from experience, let's say you're going to get an estimate or something and fucking people come to your house and you live in a 5,000 square foot house. Well, guess what? The estimate's now going to be triple what it would have been if you lived in a smaller, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, that's just kind of how, you know. That's kind of how the world is, you know? It's like if you're a personal trainer and, you know, this guy, you, you know, he makes a lot of money, well, you charge him $200 an hour and your other clients, you're charging $100 so an now, hour, right? It's this one. It's this one. There we go. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. So people sometimes don't have a set rate. I mean, obviously, tow truck probably does, but whatever. I just got in the habit of sometimes not fucking trying to be too flashy when you're fucking paying money somewhere because they seem to charge you more. Well, the tow truck guy that helped you the last time and discussed this with you was nice. So. Well, and I'm going to have to burn out again, goddammit. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My Ford is like, I'm not built for this. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Look at this guy. He's picking up his car. Every day they just have, like, all these pissed off people coming, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I have to address a couple people out there because when I said, look at these white trash motherfuckers or whatever I said just because they're tow truck drivers doesn't mean I'm talking about every tow truck driver out there I'm talking about the specific people that I laid eyes on that I saw in the yard fucking barefoot in a fucking dirt fucking junkyard I mean I don't know about you guys but I've seen I've I've dealt with other tow truck companies I have friends that are tow truck drivers and their place doesn't look like this. <laughs> they don't handle business like this. And I'm just talking about what you see right here. Like it's, show them babe. That's some white trash looking fucking, that's a white trash looking fucking establishment if you ask me. Sorry, just being honest. Um, so if anyone took that as I was saying that about all tow truck drivers, yeah, no I wasn't. So I apologize if that's what you thought. But you know, regardless of what the person does for a living, um, you know, I might, anyway, I probably shouldn't be talking to you, right? Just don't talk shit, Rich. Just fucking keep your mouth shut. But, you know, I just say it how it is. Whatever the fuck up pops in my head, I comes out my goddamn mouth, and that's the way I've always been. So, uh... Well, I'm pretty sure in the moment anybody would have been frustrated and been talking shit if somebody took their car. It, it happens to a lot of people. I'm pretty sure anybody in the same situation you know, would have been cursing. But at the same time, it's like not everybody films their life and puts it on social media. So it's like, you know. Well, the truth is, if I wasn't upset and I rolled by this place, I'd say the same fucking thing. But I'd be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fucking white trash establishment. Look at this shit. I'd be saying the same fucking thing. So, uh, I'm sure they're going to see this video. My toes are, my car's probably going to get towed every motherfucking night now. <laughs> you know? Whatever. You know? So, they know where I live, and I know where they live. God damn it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're so twisted. No, this is Florida, not Texas. <laughs> All right, let's go get this shit. We had to make an appointment again. If you're late to the appointment, they charge you like 50 bucks or some shit. Like, really? Really? You're late to the appointment, it's going to be 50 extra dollars. You have to make an appointment. You can only make it an hour before you're going to cut. Like, just any way to make any extra money. There's a gate fee. A gate fee? What the fuck's a gate fee? Gate fee? So, anyway, come on, guys. Seriously? I think think most of you uh, are on my side on this one. So, anyway, let's go get this shit. All right.
All right, so it's meal time, goddammit. I'm fucking starving. Having some beef and rice. Nice fucking healthy meal, right? One of my favorites. Um, so we fucking got the Maserati, goddammit. We didn't get it on film because I didn't want to fuck shit up by filming shit and they're like, oh, you can't film, you know, whatever. I didn't want to take no chances, basically. So, the funny thing is, is, well, I'm gonna say it's Chanel's fault, she's gonna say it's my fault, but we forgot the fucking Maserati key. <laughs> so, we did all the paperwork, I was being so nice to the guy, you know, just making everything go smoothly, and um, he's like, all right, there you go. And I'm like, where's the key, babe? <laughs> she's like, I don't have the key, do you have the key? I'm like, oh my fucking God. So yeah, we didn't, uh, we didn't have the key, so she had to go get the key, you know, come back. So that was like 20 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. But um, the most important thing I have to say is uh, the gentleman that was working there was pretty cool and I was pretty cool and we had a good conversation and I actually learned a lot. I just fucking asked him every question I could to find out as much as I could about, you know, the situation. Uh, how the towing works here in Florida, which I don't know if it's any different in California. I didn't really experience it. But um, what I found out is they're connected to the same computers as, you know, the police officers here. So um, they can run your plate, you know, and find out everything. And they're allowed to tow if your plates are expired, if you have the wrong plates on the car, like they tow your car. So they're basically... Some, I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy, but they can fucking just tow your car, you know, whether you're parked in the right place or not, you know. Um, so my Maserati, the registration was up. It was, you know, like expired, I don't know, a month or two, I don't even remember. Because uh, I wasn't really driving in California, I knew I was moving, so I was like, fuck, I'll just wait till I get to Florida, you know, register in Florida. And um, so they could have towed it just for the plates. But if I was parked in the right place, they could have towed that shit. So I didn't know that shit, so that's good to know because we just picked up the fucking Bentley and I don't have no plates on it. So if if I leave the Bentley somewhere without the plates putting on, then they fucking tow that shit. So I gotta eat the fucking plates and put it on before I drive it and park it anywhere. Uh, I mean, we were eating at the fucking that restaurant. It was right outside. The tow truck would have drove by. They would have fucking took my Bentley to the tow yard and it's... It, I don't have any proof of registration. Or do I, babe? Oh, yeah, I do. You do now. I do now, yeah. But, yeah, that night I didn't. I would have been fucked, right? And we were, in a, we were fucking four hours away. So I'm just saying that fucking Bentley's parked out without plates. They would have fucking towed that thing in the tow yard. I go to pick it up. Oh, sorry. Can't get your car. You got to register it. Oh, the DMV's closed. It's fucking 7 o'clock. What do I do? Sorry, oh, okay, let's get a hotel, let's stay the night, like, real, like, what the fuck? You know, and I mean, I, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I went and bought a fucking car, I didn't have plates yet. And I was driving home, I was hungry, stopped to eat. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of fucked, but, you know, it is it is what it is, right? You know, there's nothing you can do. So, um, you know, it was funny because I was talking to the guy, and, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I was, like, super nice with the guy. You know, I didn't have an attitude, I wasn't, I, you know, it's... it's there's no reason for it. I might talk shit and do whatever, but you know, when it comes down to it, it ain't gonna do no good, right? So I was talking to him, he was telling me some funny ass stories. You know, people are like threatening their life and I'm gonna blow this place. It was fucking some crazy shit. He was telling me all kinds of stuff. And you know, all those guys do is if someone starts getting crazy, they just hit 911, the cops come and it, it's done, you know? So uh, it's definitely not a, a very smart uh, idea, I guess, right? So, but, um, um, anyway, it was cheap. It was only, what was it? Three, three thirteen or something shit? Yeah, three thirteen. Fuck, I thought it was gonna be a thousand bucks. So I was, fuck, three thirteen. You even said to the guy, you said, how much, right? Yeah. And he's like, three thirteen. I was like, what the, three thirteen? The car was there for like, what, four or five days? Uh-huh. Fuck, three thirteen, that's, fuck, that's a steal in my book, right? I thought it was gonna be at least a thousand bucks. So, uh, so anyway, uh, ended up being a, not a bad situation. So everything's on track. I just got to put those fucking Bentley plates on, right? I haven't done that shit yet. We got them. Just haven't put them on. So, uh, it's 
about it. I need to finish my motherfucking food. Dying. I'm behind on my meals. But I had a great workout. I actually trained legs, goddammit. That's a rare occasion. <laughs> but I'm gonna start training legs. You know, my knees are fucked. You know, that injury, the teletinian rip. I just have no cartilage. It's like I have a serious, some serious shit going on. But you know what? Gotta work through it. That's all I can do. So, it's gonna keep going. And, you know, people don't know that <clears throat> I'm in fucking pain every fucking day. You know, um, my right knee has no cartilage on the inside and it's, you know, not doing too good on the outside. And my left knee is a little bit better, but, you know, they said it's going to be in the same boat. Um, my dad has the same problem, you know, in his knee, so it's genetic, but I'm sure, you know, squatting and training legs and heavy and all that shit didn't help, right? So I probably, you know, speeded up the process and it's hit me a little sooner than it hit my dad. Um, I tried stem cells, you guys know. Shit didn't really work too well. Uh, they said it's an 80% chance, I guess I'm in the 20. So, you know, um, there's other things I might be able to do. So, but for right now, I'm just fucking dealing with pain on a, on a daily fucking, you know, 24 hours a day, I'm in fucking pain. And, you know, there's nothing I can do except just fucking accept it and just keep pushing through it. And trying to train in a way that doesn't make it worse. And I noticed, you know, training calves really fucks them up because, you know, you're going on the on your toes, goes right to the knees. So, seated calf raises is the best exercise. It doesn't fuck my knees up. But if I do any other, you know, anything, it just puts all that pressure on my knees. So, it's really hard to train calves. No leg extensions. Um, no hack squats. I can leg press with my, you know, my feet up high. But then I don't have that good range of motion. Um, I can squat, but can't go too heavy and I gotta make sure I stay upright and all the weights on the heels, which isn't a problem for me. But you know, fucking doing it, goddammit. Whatever it takes, right? So, all right, I gotta go because I gotta finish this meal. Talking, I'm not getting nothing done. What's up? So, I am working in the office. This is the crazy fucking office. We decided to go with an all blue room. And uh, even check out the fucking ceiling. Even the ceiling is fucking blue. <laughs> so we went a little crazy um, with the decor. But we are still fucking waiting for shit to be delivered. We're, we're still not done. We still got a lot more shit to do. A lot more shit coming. So um, Tia, you know, fucking nice silver TV is going to be here. Um... What's crazy is these fucking curtains right here. Chanel picked those out and I was like, uh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, I don't know about silver curtains in a blue room. And she's like, I think it'll look good. And I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's do it. You know, let's see what it looks like. And I think it looks fucking great. So, uh, so you know, pretty much we agreed on everything 100%, same fucking taste. Um, the curtains was the only thing I was questioning, and fuck, they turned out good. So, anyway, oh, look at this fucking shit. Look at my fucking computer is all fucking fucked up. Um, so basically, we hired a moving company to move all our shit um, in a pod, uh, to load it up in a pod, and. You know, they guarantee that if anything's broke, they're going to fix it. Not a problem. Uh, they're called Rocket Moving. Mm -hmm. Rocket Moving. And um, they don't seem to want to fix my fucking computer. So, uh, you know, we sent them an email back and forth. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, I mean, Jesus Christ, I'll buy a new fucking computer, right? What the fuck? It's not, that, it's not worth the fucking hassle of what you have to go through. You know, it's like... Everything nowadays is not even fucking worth it, right? It's like, so it's like, whatever. But, uh, but I'll throw their name out there, you know? They fucking broke my shit and they don't want to pay for it, so there you go. Um, I might throw out there a couple more times. <laughs> but anyway, 
Um, you know, it wasn't a big deal. It's not an expensive thing. Just, you know, fix, you know, fix the fucking computer. Give me a new computer. Whatever the fuck. Anyway, so I have been working on this fucking Instagram video. And I even hate to say how much time I've spent on this motherfucker. But, uh, let me pull it up here. So, what it is, is I don't like using the fucking YouTube music because it fucking sucks shit. And you guys know all my videos have this fucking shitty ass music and I fucking hate it. So, on Instagram videos, you know, a lot of times you can use any music, right? Well, they keep fucking me. So, I post up a fucking video with a sick ass fucking song and I sit and make the music match the fucking video and I cut and I fucking edit and I fucking, you know, make it what I think is fucking perfect. And then I spend however long writing a fucking post to go with the video, which this one was a fucking great post. And then I hit share and it shows up for like one second and poof, it's gone. So I lose the post and it fucking doesn't fucking load. So then what do I do? I come in here and I say, all right, let's do this again. So then I pick another song and I do it all over again. And I fucking sit there and edit the fucking song and make everything perfect and rewrite the fucking post. But of course this time I fucking uh, copy it so I can repaste it if, it if I lose it. And I hit post after spending all that time redoing the music. It shows up and poof, it's fucking gone. <laughs> So I've tried to post this video twice with two different songs and it won't post. So I'm still trying to figure out a way. I'm thinking about possibly having Chanel post it on her IG and then I do a repost and then cancel on hers real quick. And then maybe since it's already been on an IG, they might let it pass. I, I don't know because I need a fucking good song for this video. I don't want some fucking bullshit. So anyway, I'm just it's just a daily fucking thing, and you know, in my work day, because I'm you know I'm I'm uh, like things a certain way. I don't want to half-ass it. So if that doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But it's weird because Chanel doesn't seem to be having that problem. So I don't know if it has to do with followers, like the more followers you have, the more they're making sure you don't use, you know, uh, you know, content that you're not supposed to, I don't know. Uh, it's crazy, but um, I'm going to figure this shit out. So you guys will see this goddamn video someday, <laughs> but it's pretty sick. It's an old school, uh, old school video with me and Maverick. And it's from the mutant days, like four years ago, you know, um, back when we used to train MMA, me, Maverick, and Viking, my brother, what's up, my man? Um, you know, when we used to train together back in the day, four years ago, uh, back then, um, but it's a sick-ass video, and the visuals are sick, and um, so I am just uh, made a little teaser of it, because I think it's a sick-ass video. So anyway, so we are about to go grab some food. I don't know what we're grabbing yet, but we're going to grab something. Uh, right? You craving anything, babe? I'm hungry, and I would love some fresh kitchen. Fresh kitchen! Fresh kitchen is the shit! What fucking time is it? Okay, we got enough time, barely. Fresh kitchen is the shit. So we will go grab some fresh kitchen, but we got to get going, or we're not going to fucking make it. So, fresh kitchen and ice cream, or just fresh kitchen? Uh, I need ice cream. Because <laughs> <laughs> fresh kitchen is fucking healthy, right? Yeah. Really healthy. It is, but it's really tasty healthy. It's tasty healthy. So it really doesn't even seem like you're eating healthy. It's so good. So we'll eat some healthy food, and then eat a little ice cream, and then it'll even itself out, and we'll be good, right? Mm -hmm. Is that how it works? Yeah. Like if you get a cheeseburger, <laughs> you get a Diet Coke, and it kind of evens itself out, you know? Mm -hmm. Right? Isn't that the way people think sometimes? <laughs> All right, goddammit, let's do this. So we just picked up our fresh kitchen. Yeah, this place is the shit. Telling you right now. So, God. 
So we're gonna sit here and watch TV tonight in the living room. And um, normally we eat in the TV room or we eat in bed <laughs> because that's a habit from the other house. You know, when you have such a big fucking house and your master bedrooms all the way down the hallway, all the way up the stairs, and then all the way down the hallway, you tend to, when you go upstairs for bed, you stay the fuck up there. <laughs> you don't want to fucking walk all the way down the hallway, all the way down the stairs, all the way down the hallway to the kitchen. You know what I mean? It's like, fuck that shit. So, uh, you know, so we're kind of used to going up, we used to go upstairs with the food, lay in bed, watch TV, you know, and that was the, the, the normal routine. So we still like to, to eat in bed, you know, I don't, for some stupid fucking reason, I like to lay on my stomach while I eat my food watching TV, and that's probably the worst way to eat because the shit doesn't fucking go down, it just stays here. And I eat a lot of food. So I'm not doing the best fucking service for myself there. But um, anyway, so we got fresh kitchen. Let me show you what this shit looks like. So this is this is a six bowl. It's the biggest bowl they have, but you can get whatever the fuck you want. So basically, I have barbecued chicken right here. I have nice fucking, as you can see, lean, incredibly good quality steak. And then I have two cups of rice. And it's the coconut, what is it, coconut what? Coconut ginger. Coconut ginger rice. So I got uh, two scoops of that. And then I got the fucking green beans that are off the hook. Um, and then I got Brussels sprouts. And what's fucking crazy is I hate Brussels sprouts, but when a place knows how to cook Brussels sprouts right and they use the right fucking, I don't know if it's balsamic vinegar, this, that, whatever, I don't know what the fuck it is, but all I know is they're good, but Brussels sprouts are probably one of my most hated foods. When I was a kid, you know, my, my, my mom and my dad would make me eat that shit and it fucking... It was a nightmare. It was my worst nightmare. But I had to eat my vegetables every fucking night. I tried to fucking hide it in my sleeves. You know, I tried to fucking cap it in my mouth and all oh, I gotta use the restroom and fucking spit it out. And whatever I could to not eat my fucking vegetables, I tried and Brussels sprouts were the worst. So, and then I got the tomatoes. These tomatoes are, I don't even know what they put on them, but they're just insane. They're like a pesto balsam. I don't know what it is, but it's fucking good shit. Um, so, you know, if you guys haven't eaten at Fresh Kitchen, um, I know there's one in Tampa by Powerhouse Gym, not too far, and there's one right here. Um, and I know I'm learning a little bit about the shit around here. And there's a there's a guy that owns, you know, I think there's like he has like five or maybe five different restaurants. And we've only tried this one, but from what I've heard, they're all off the hook. He's got a sushi restaurant, like called The Water or something. And what I found out, Chanel found out and told me today, which I've been bitching about this for so long. You guys have probably heard me, maybe not, I don't know. But every fucking sushi place that I've ever gone to, whether it's on Sunset Boulevard and I spend 200 bucks for sushi or whether it's, you know, no matter where in Vegas, any sushi place I've ever been to in my life, they use imitation crab. Every sushi place I've ever been to, even the expensive ones, they use imitation crab meat. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware what imitation crab meat is, but it's basically like fucking hot dogs. It's fucking shit, garbage, fucking, you don't want to eat it. And it's amazing because every sushi is so healthy, don't you love sushi? Yeah, it fucking has fucking fake crab, which is shit. I don't know if you see it at the store, what it looks like. It's, it's anyway, um, so this place, it says right on the, the what is it, the website or the menu, mm -hmm. where you see it? Yeah. The, that they yeah. use, what, real king crab? Alaskan crab. Alaskan crab, and it's like, fuck, that's fucking awesome. So we haven't tried that yet, we're going to. And, um, and I will give you my honest opinion. And for people out there that, that might think that I'm getting any kind of kickback or anything for when I talk about places, as you guys know, I pretty much bitch about every fucking place there is. There's not too many places that I say all positive shit. Pretty much every place, um, one day it's good, the next day it sucks, you know? So as you know, uh, I'm not getting paid. And uh, when I'm 
when I'm doing something for some shitty ass fucking place and all I'm saying is positive shit, then you can say, damn, Rich must be getting paid for that shit. <laughs> but I think probably 80% of my shit, I'm fucking talking shit. And uh, probably 20% is good comments. But so far, I, I, I can't say anything bad about this place. Um, it's fucking good shit. So, uh, you know, when I, when something happens, I'll fucking tell you, but so far it's good. And we'll try the sushi place. And I think there's like five restaurants. So we're going to try them all because I gotta be honest with you guys, there ain't too many good fucking places to eat where we are. Um, you know, we went to the smokehouse. That place was fucking off the hook. And what was funny is when we first walked in, like I said, I thought I was part of this guy's restaurants because it was very similar and the quality was really good. And I was like, this must be one of his restaurants, but it's not. So that's another good place. But you know, most, I mean, it's crazy because I think fast food is even more popular here than it is, you know, where we're from because there's not really any good restaurants. I mean, I think there's some nice stuff over, you know, in Tampa, you know, some good places. Um, what's the place we went to the restaurant? The sushi, we had sushi and steak. The fuck is that place? Oh my God, I don't even remember. <laughs> Damn it, I've been there twice. But, um, fuck, it's in, if you guys know, it's in, there's, I guess there's like a nice mall that has Gucci Louis Vuitton in Tampa. It's like the upscale mall. And then right by there are all the upscale restaurants. And, uh, what were the restaurants? They had a, they had a Texas Br Brazil, right? Texas Day Brazil. And then what was the one next door that I couldn't remember the name last time? Oh, some guy's name. I don't even know. <laughs> what else was there? Do you remember anything else? No. Damn! I wonder if anyone out there knows the fucking restaurant I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> it's basically they have sushi. And actually that sushi, that was actually, that sushi was actually pretty good, right? I mean, it wasn't, I, it wasn't as good as what we're used to in LA. But it was a hell of a lot better than the other place we tried not too long. Oh, yeah. Hell of a lot better. So we didn't even fucking try it, actually. I hate to say it, but... There's this, what's it called, Blue Moon or? I think it's like Blue Fin or something. Blue Fin or something. It's uh, it's right by a fucking, uh, what's that place I like? It's like Chipotle? Moe's. Moe's, it's right, it's just like right in the same little area as Moe's. And we went in there and we walked in, it's really fucking nice. You know, it's like, fuck, this place is good. We were kind of excited and she was craving sushi and we sat there. We, we didn't talk about this yet, right? I don't think so. so we sit down, and so instead of a menu, they bring you a little fucking... Tablet. Tablet. Fucking Apple tablet. And you sit, and you scroll through the little computer, and look at the menu, which we're like, wow, this is pretty cool, you know? But then, what you don't realize is that it doesn't tell you what's in the roll. So you have to click on the roll, and then you have to wait till it loads, and then when it loads, you can read what's in the roll. And then you hit back, and then it takes a second to go back, and then you have to click on the next roll. So basically what I'm saying is it takes like 10 minutes to go through and look at all the rolls, which is a little frustrating. Good concept, good idea, but practical-wise, not that good. Uh, I'd rather have a menu that just has pictures. You know, that's, that's the best scenario and tells you right under. You know, you can just skim through and be like, whoa, 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 whatever. But, um... So we looked and I swear to God, almost every single roll had cream cheese. We're like, what's with the fucking cream cheese on sushi? Like, at the sushi restaurants where we're from, maybe one roll has cream cheese. Like on the whole menu, there's like 30 rolls and one has cream cheese. For whatever reason, this place, almost every fucking roll had cream cheese. Well, I don't really think cream cheese goes with sushi too well. It doesn't, and she doesn't think so either. So. We were like, okay, we got either cream cheese or fried shrimp. What do they call it? Tempura. Tempura. Cream cheese or tempura? Well, I don't like either in my sushi rolls, to be honest. So there was really nothing to order. So we sat there for like 15 minutes and I felt bad, but we just got up and left because there was nothing to order. So we didn't even try it, but there wasn't one roll that actually looked good. So I'm looking forward to trying that, uh, the other place, the water, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, there's that shit to fucking eat around here. I mean, we went to BJ's a couple times and man, that shit fucked me up. I mean, it was, it, it, it tasted good. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think it was bad, but man, the shit I went through after that fucking shit, fuck that. I'm fucking done. <laughs> I was fucked. I had, uh, one night I had uh, some fucking burger that had, uh, what the fuck? It was like brisket. 
burger. She like, you know, it, it looks sounds good, right? Brisket on a burger. Oh my god, that shit fucked me up. And then uh, and then I went one more time, and we did it on film, right? What did I get? I got chicken McNuggets. Well, uh, basically, it's like boneless. Boneless buffalo wings, wings dry rub, lemon and herb. Like it sounds, you know, really good, but it's actually just chicken McNuggets. <laughs> let's just, let's did you get real. that in the beef dip, or did you get that in the meatballs? I don't remember. No, I got the spaghetti. That's okay. right, the spaghetti and meatballs, which I've had before, but man, that shit fucked me up too. And I told her, I'm like, we're done with BJ's. I mean, it's a nice place. It looks good. You know, it, it, it tastes, you know, pretty, pretty good, but man, it fucked me up twice. So I was like, fuck this. this something's going on. So we've been eating Chipotle quite often and still eating Pollo Tropical. And I mean, Pollo Tropical is good shit, but it's, I hate to say it, but it's kind of a, a trashy place to eat. I mean, I'm not talking shit. I'm just being honest. Like it's, it's not the the most you know. Like Chipotle's nice and clean, and it's a little for you know, kind of fast food is like kind of. I don't want to say upscale, but you know, it's it's nice. And a Pueblo Tropical's not at all close as far as you know the ambiance and you know how clean it is and everything else. But the food is fucking good. So you know. We go get that shit and we leave and bring it home. <laughs> but I can't say nothing about the food, man. The bowls are good. So, um, so we've been eating there at Chipotle and that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we just gotta like wander a little further away, right? In Tampa and shit. Yeah. And, uh, and well, there's no real cheesecake factory around here, right? It's like 20 minutes away. Yeah, I think it's over in Tampa. Yeah, so anyway, we'll find some places. But hey, Fresh Kitchen. So anyway, babe, are you ready to fucking... Oh, we got ice cream, too. Yep. Yeah! And you got shit you like this time. Mm-hmm. So what'd you get? Coffee Heath Bar Crunch. And you got a couple of them, right? I got four. <laughs> you got four. <laughs> you bought them out. I, I did. That. I got their last one. I don't know one. how many you got, but I know you bought them all. I know you got them all. You're like, fuck yeah. this shit. I'm getting all these motherfuckers. <laughs> well, I don't know why it's so hard to find that one, but you can find like the, the ones with cookies and shit in them and brownies. I'm like, okay, I'm not shoving that in my mouth. Yeah, there's a big difference. People think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't, people are totally confused with, with my version of the keto diet. They're totally like, what the fuck? That's not a keto diet, you dumb fuck. That's what they're thinking. That's what they comment. That's my keto cheat. And, That's not part of my keto diet. No, I know, but they don't understand that when you're when you're on a keto diet, sugar isn't as bad as complex carbs. It doesn't affect you the same way. So if you're if you're gonna cheat on a keto diet, it's a million times better. Um, as far as my experimentation, now I'm not Quoting, if you go Google the shit on the fucking internet, I don't know what the fuck the internet's gonna say. I'm just telling you from my experience that it's better to eat sugar and fat when you're on the keto diet than to eat complex carbs, you know, like brownies, cookies, cereal, anything with flour, donuts, you know, that kind of shit. You know, if she had three fucking donuts or, you know, three chocolate chip cookies, you know, it, it would affect her, her diet and the way she looks the next day more than the sugar for whatever reason. And, you know, I know there's a diet called, you know, it's, it's not around anymore, but it was called the, you know, the South Beach diet. And what it was, it was like basically keto, but you could have fruit. So you did a keto diet, you could have fruit. And so that's what, you know, made me think of this. So one time I, uh, I was on a cruise and I don't know if you guys have ever been on a cruise. When we had a cruise, they have fucking fruit at every meal and it's chopped up and you can get a big plate of fucking watermelon and cantaloupe and... It's something that you're not used to just being able to eat as much fucking watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple, whatever, you know. It's not something I, I'm, usually, I'm really ever eating or, so when you see it, you're like, fuck, that looks good. And so I was eating fruit, like every meal, a big plate of fruit, while I was on keto diet, and I was like, staying lean. It didn't affect me whatsoever, and that's when I realized, well, fuck, sugar doesn't really seem to be affecting my keto diet, as long as I'm eating complex carbs. So that's, I was on the cruise for a week and I did this for a whole fucking week eating fruit all day long, every day for seven days. And my body, it, it didn't change, you know? I it looked just as good when I got off as when I got on. So I was like, fuck, this is the shit. Um, you know, it was great being on a keto diet on a cruise because uh, you can order as much food as you want. 
So like at dinner time, you know, they have like six entrees. You can order all six entrees if you want, you know. Okay, let me get the filet, let me get the pork chops, let me get the tilapia, you know, so I'd get like three dinners and I would just eat the meat and the vegetables, you know, and not eat the potato, you know, the complex carbs, not eat the bread. But it was good because I'd have, you know, three fucking entrees of meat and vegetables and so I was happy. And um, so it worked out great. And the fruit, you know, and the fruit I was eating the fruit all day long, it didn't affect me. So that's when I came to that realization. So when I got back home, I was like, well, fuck it. I'm going to eat some goddamn fucking ice cream then. <laughs> See how that goes. And I was eating ice cream and fucking didn't affect me. And I was like, God damn. So, but this is when you know, I'm on the keto diet. Keto diet, I get ice cream every night. It doesn't fucking affect me at all. Um, as long as I get the ones without the fucking complex carbs. You know, brownie, fucking cookies, you know, those Ben and Jerry's have the complex carbs. So that's what we're talking about when she says... You know, she just can't eat the cookie ones, brownie ones, because she's on the keto. And uh, on a, you know, on a real cheat night, this is like a, what do we call this? Like a, maybe a fake cheat night? <laughs> a warm-up cheat night? Come on, a knife that ends in Y? I don't know. <laughs> when she's like macaroni and cheese, then it's a fucking oh, genuine, God. then it's a genuine cheat Then it's a, like, <laughs> we're throwing everything out the window, get out of my way. So, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's the theory behind my keto diet. So a lot of people out there are confused. They're like, what the fuck? And, um, my keto diet ended and, um, it started when I went away with Mike Burleson and I was like, this motherfucker's eating French fries and shit. And I'm like, fuck this. I'm fucking, I'm going along with the program for, you know, two days. And, you know, I just, that was it. That was done, and there's there's another very good reason why I uh, switched away from the keto diet, which you guys will find out very soon. But um, uh, probably talk about it in the next video, and you guys will see. And you'll probably I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I put on quite a bit of size, not really trying too hard because I haven't really been training, as you guys probably know. You haven't seen too many training videos, and I really. Um, haven't been to a gym yet here, and that's the honest to God truth. Everyone out there keeps asking me, you know, powerhouse, you're gonna go here, you're gonna go there, because I haven't been anywhere. I haven't been to a fucking gym. So, and I've been making some gains. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but. Um, so, anyway, um, it's time to eat, babe, God damn it. Finally, ready Jesus, eat? yes. <laughs> the hell are you still filming for? I'm fucking starving. Okay. It's all your fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> all right. Thank All right, you. guys. I hope you guys have a great night. We're going to have a great night. We're going to watch some TV in the living room, take this shit in the bedroom, and uh, have a great night. So anyway, guys, take care.